Bonjour, vous êtes sur la page EDM Sphere et nous sommes en compagnie de Keizo que nous allons interviewer avant son concert à Paris. Hi Keizo, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, thank you. Can you introduce yourself for uh, the people who don't know, please? Well, all right, cool. Uh... If you don't know me, I'm Keizo, and I make electronic music mixed with a little bit of rock, pop punk, all that fun stuff. Bass music, kind of there, like that subgenre. Um, and I'm excited to be here tonight in Paris. So, yeah. Okay, good. Uh, how would you define your uh, music style? Yeah, I think it's a little. I hate it's. It's interesting when I get asked this question. I think it's a mixture of so many different things from my past. Like when I was a child, when I was younger, when I was like a, a teenager, and uh, my the electronic side when I'm older now, and I think there's a it's a good it's a good blurred combination of uh, bass music mixed with I think rock, pop punk, okay. and things of that nature. And in terms of bass music, it's kind of a lot of different styles of bass music. So okay, it can get very tricky when trying <laughs> to understand it. I guess. Okay, thank you. Uh, only one year after you released your album, uh, yeah. you just announced another one. Can you say a little bit more, please? Yeah, so I was fortunate enough to release my, my first album last year. <laughs> Tiled Overload and it did really well. And it was my first step into like taking electronic music and blurring the lines of that with rock and other things that I like that inspired me growing up. And so the second album is more of a, I'd like to say it's more of a matured version of the first album where the first album you could definitely hear the electronic and the rock separated but also together. But this new one I really wanted to focus on um, blurring them even more and making it even a bit more confusing, not, like, not, maybe not confusing but harder to differentiate if it's more electronic or if it's more something else so it's more in the middle now and um just become more of a mature artist in the sense of just the writing behind it uh the production behind it and i was lucky enough to release the first single today um titled alone with a really talented band that they go by our last night and uh we were able to work on a really awesome song and i'm proud that it's out today so it's the first the first single of the album and Now it kind of starts the, the journey into the second album. Okay. Uh, are you going to play your album IDs uh, tonight and do your following show? Yeah, most definitely. I, I try to always play my uh, my unreleased music mixed, like, you know, things from my new album coming out and mixed with my old music and everything in between. So I end up playing mostly my own music in my set now, which is really cool. Okay, very yeah. good. This time is your uh, most listened tracks. <laughs> Can you tell us uh, how you produce it? Yeah, this time that was that was a couple years ago. Um, that one just became that one was actually produced when I was traveling a lot, so I ended up making that one on the road, like between flying to different shows and okay. and things of that. So that one just honestly came together kind of randomly in different pieces, like different times within a span of maybe like two months. And just when I had time to work on it, and then I had to travel a bunch, play a bunch of shows. Because I don't like to, I don't really write too much on the road. I like to write when I'm home. But I was on the road so much at that time that I ended up writing the song uh, in segments. And it just, I was really just wanting to make some sort of hybrid between um, hard style, my, my interpretation of hard style, and then bass music. And this time kind of came out. Okay. Yeah. You're part of a band, The Bitches? Uh, with uh, OK, Ultron and .com. Yeah. Uh, how did this project start? Uh, that was that was so random in the best way. Like those are my some of my closest friends. Okay. And we were we've been such good friends, like best friends since we first met each other. Probably back we in like 2013-14, and uh, we've just been such good friends for so long. We just it came kind of as a joke at first. It wasn't actually supposed to be anything like serious. Just so you're not playing shows, right? And um, all of our fans on social media started to catch on to it. We were just calling each other binge as a joke on the internet, and then people were saying it. And 
we figured we'd play a fun sh like a show one time in LA as the benches together and it went off really well. And then from that moment we got to play, we played EDC, or I guess our debut show last year was EDC Las Vegas. <laughs> And uh, everyone loves it, and we love doing it because it's different and it's fun. We can not have to take it too seriously because it's we're basically just four four best friends messing around, and okay. people love it. And so we're gonna do more shows, for sure, most definitely. Did you play a festival too with uh, this band? Uh, not yet. It, those shows are hard. It's different in terms of booking. Like, well, when we want to play something, we'll all get together and we'll be like, should we play this? Should we want to do want to do that? And then we'll go do it. So we're still figuring out what we want to do this year. We're in special. We don't want to do too many shows. We'll do like maybe two or three shows if we're lucky a year. Oh, okay. And it's for, it's very special, fun. Okay. So yeah, we haven't decided yet what we want to uh, do this year. What's your best memory in the show and the worst? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I have a worst, I'll be honest. Like I can't I couldn't tell you of a worst one because I mean maybe there's been maybe times early in my career where I've maybe stopped a song by accident or maybe the CDJs malfunctioned and my USB was just looping randomly or I've had a lot of really good memories that I, I definitely do remember and I'd say a few of them were definitely in the past couple of years last year more notably like being able to play some of my um, my my these festivals I feel like Lollapalooza in Chicago and you know uh, Cosmic Meadow at EDC and Ultra and like there's a lot of memories last year that were my first times getting to play these festivals or certain stages at these festivals and that were goals of mine and they were definitely important to me and i'd say getting to play coachella this year that's a big goal and it's going to be an awesome memory so kind of okay. a future memory but uh that and then being able to just release my first album last year that was a really important memory and good time okay. for me. yeah now we're gonna play a little game okay uh you have to choose between two uh, words are you okay yeah sure festival or concert Oh, I would do I would do concert. Concert? Yeah, okay. concert. Production or DJing? Oh, production. Production. Okay. Yeah, all day. Collaboration or solo? Uh, solo. Solo? Solo, yeah. Commercial or underground? Oh, uh, underground. Underground. Yeah, okay. I'd say so. Yeah. Independent or big label? Independent. I I I, I think yeah, independent. Mosh pit or ed edbang? <laughs> oh, um, geez, that's tough. Both? No, I would say, um, I like seeing, I like seeing headbanging. Headbanging, I think that's pretty, pretty cool. Everyone, because everyone can do it, and they're not, like, everyone can do it in, in their own place sometimes. Sometimes <laughs> mosh, sometimes mosh pits at electronic shows end up kind of crazy and out of control, and so maybe, maybe headbang, I'll do that. Okay, dance or sing? Dance or sing? Yes. Dance. Okay. Can Definitely. you dance, please? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. On the spot. Just do a little bit more. Of that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, okay. So thank you. Thank very you. good. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Appreciate it.